there Sagittarius this is Yvonne Rivas with Mermaid Oracle and thank you so much for coming in to watch your monthly astrology and tarot reading with myself now Sagittarius when it comes to business business will have great financial flow invest in businesses that will bring profits to you you're definitely encouraged to understand whether you are about to do something wrong or right to avoid self-destruction this month Stop judging others very harshly. And before doing anything, always think about the consequences. That's going to be very important this month. When it comes to love and relationships, you can find a soulmate in a friendship too. Before you commit to any relationship, build a friendship with someone you admire first. Find interesting things to do together as a way of knowing each other better. For those who are in a relationship, it is important to make time to speak to your spouse every day. If you are living in different towns or countries, communicate daily. Use the internet to make the communication better between you two. Now, when it comes to family, people might grow in different directions, so it will be up to you to work hard to bring your family members together. Now, one way of enjoying your wealth is in good health. Here comes your health portion of your astrology. Avoid people who mislead you into making the wrong choices. This month, try to spend time with people who build your mental health. Being mentally stable will help you to work for your goals. Now, when it comes to career, if you want a business, you don't have to be great to start, but you do have to start in order to succeed. Once you see the results of your hard work in your business, it becomes normal. You have the patience of seeing your business succeed, unlike many others. Now, when it comes to finances, Sagittarius, try to keep track of your savings and investments. You can try to put your money into a well-researched project that you think will give you maximum returns. Now, when it comes to education, start discussing issues and start listening to opposing arguments. This shall teach you to start embracing diversities. You will only open yourself to new things if you do. For travel, travel far away from where you live. The world is full of beautiful places, so take a trip to unwind from your busy life. All right, Sagittarius, thank you so much for listening to your astrology. Now let's head over to do your tarot Hello reading. Hello there, Sagittarius. This is Yvonne Rivas with Mermaid Oracle, and thank you so much for coming in to watch your June 2022 astrology and tarot reading with myself. Now, if you guys are interested in getting a tarot reading with myself, or if you guys are interested in checking out my jewelry collection, it is out now of course we have sterling silver like this we have a sterling silver clasp we have seashells Swarovski crystals and also smoky quart which you will see down below on the description all you have to do is go to my website at mermaidoracle.com which you will see the link to that down below on the description so we are using for this month's tarot reading the Tarot 3D by Liz Carabello and David Corsi. Now, uh, I did do an unboxing and review of this tarot deck. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, you will see the link to that video towards the end. Right, so first card up, we have the Hierophant in reverse. We have 
the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and also the Sun card in reverse. Interesting. Okay. And we have in the bottom of the deck, the Fool, upright. <laughs> well, the Fool is the only card that is upright. I know that's going to piss off some people right here. Um, I get a lot of people who just really dissociate <laughs> when I just pull a lot of reversals. Now, you shouldn't worry about how my cards talk to me. Cards talk differently to everybody. So, it's not a bad thing. It's more about what they want to say rather than it being all upright or all reversed okay that's irrelevant so on with the reading the fool now the fool to me is someone who is free the first thing that catches my eye is how the fool is just looking afar he's fantasizing I see this pink feather right here which to me represents free spiritedness curiosity wanting to live on the edge so to speak and but there's some pessimism surrounding that maybe you have been feeling pessimistic in the idea of Wanting to have adventure, maybe. Um, let's see what the cards have to have to say right here. So we have the Hierophant, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So the Hierophant reversed, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, and also the Sun reversed. So this is just basically just talking about how there was something here that was unconventional, or someone here behaved unconventionally. And the challenge here was that I feel like it's to keep going. Maybe someone here misbehaved or someone acted out or did something or said something because they were looking for attention. But the whole point here is to keep going. If someone did something out of attention to get your attention, Especially if, if it's someone who's a Leo or a Taurus or even an Aries. I'm getting Aries too. I feel like this. Po I feel like there was possibly infidelity. I'm getting infidelity for a lot of you. I am getting, um, or there will be infidelity. There's infidelity, or there will be infidelity. Someone here did something deviant, something that they weren't supposed to be doing. But for some people, if it wasn't something like that, I feel like this is just talking about how someone here followed their heart and they just didn't want to do what was the right thing to do in a relationship. They wanted to do what was right for them. Like, let's, let's just say, for instance, for some of you who are mothers, um, who are stay-at-home mothers. Maybe your husband or your partner isn't very um, approving of you going to school or working, right? And you decide to do it anyway because you want to do what you want to do. And maybe your parents are against it. And maybe your health hasn't been very well, but you're just like, I want to do it. I am wanting to take that risk I am feeling I want to be free and that's the challenge to, and your challenge if that's so the case would be to keep going why are you doing this you really are this is definitely for especially those who are looking to have to get attention like maybe an online business or maybe to wanting to be a public figure most especially you guys wanting attention um for others like i said if someone did this someone misbehaved or did, or did something deviant or you might be dealing with someone who wants to do something that they want to do that maybe you are possibly not very um approving of or maybe you told them that you didn't want them to do this thing in particular it could be something as simple as like they want to go skydiving with their friends and you said no 
you said no because it's dangerous and blah 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 well she went and did it anywhere he went and did it anyway and point is the challenge is they're going to continue doing what they want to do and in a way they could be doing this to to um to get your attention maybe in a way they're doing this kind of kind of like a little bit of like a teenager rebellion um they could be doing it in that sense to to kind of just rebel like oh because you told me no i'm gonna do it and i'm gonna do it big time and i'm gonna do it like like in a super super dope way where it's gonna just piss you off even all the more so And for a lot of people, yeah, like I said, maybe at first it is because of immaturity. At first it's definitely be, is, I feel like at first it is going to be about immaturity. If it's you, it's to teach the other person a lesson for some reason. You wanting to teach that person a lesson. If it's the other person, it's because of the inconsistency. So I'm definitely seeing inconsistencies. I'm definitely in, especially if this is someone who's in and out of your life, if this is somebody who, um, isn't there like on an everyday basis or someone that you interact with on an everyday basis i see that you might be interacting with this person especially with the lovers and the devil so definitely hearing from this person again seeing this person again um you have a very hard time getting along with this person i see that there's a lot of passion with this person and at the same time even though there's a lot of passion there's a lot of Butting heads with this individual as well. That's what I'm saying. And if you are, think if you are wondering if you're going to continue butting heads with this person, oh, yeah, possibly even this month as well. Alrighty, that's basically all I have for you. All in all, from what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius, is we're seeing something along the lines of wanting to take a risk. We are fantasizing, we are imagining things, and we're wanting to, uh, we're having this urge of wanting to be this free spirit, right? And someone here possibly misbehaved or someone here will be misbehaving in June. Could be you, could be the, your your partner. Could be you, could be your partner. And the reason why this is all happening is because of the idea that someone could be doing this to rebel, someone could be doing this for attention also as well. And you could also be dealing with someone who's doing this also because of immaturity or at first they will be because of immaturity but then i do see it's because i do see that they want your attention i'm seeing that there is some infatuation or some obsession here if you are the one acting unconventionally or doing or acting out because you're wanting to rebel or wanting to get someone's reaction or attention it's to teach someone a lesson possibly but I do see that this person is quite inconsistent in your life. And I do see arguments with this person as well, okay? So I am seeing that. All right, so that is all I have for you, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys are interested, once again, in going to my website, please check out my jewelry. Sterling silver jewelry, beaded jewelry, and crystal jewelry. I do also sell candles and tarot readings as well. Go ahead and check that out, and I will see you guys next month. Bye.